Hello everyone, this is Mohammed. I hope you're having a good day. I have completed the Embedded C Style series and I have summarized all the rules into this manual in a user-friendly way, which aims to provide a day-to-day -day reference for developers who decide to follow our Embedded C Style. Now, this manual is going to be public into our GitHub repository to make it easy for us to maintain and update. And I'll provide a link to the manual down below. Now, I'd like to go through the manual together. And for that, let's head to the PC side. This is the style manual. I named it the Embedded C Programming Style Manual. This summarizes the star rules from my YouTube series in a very easy way to help people refer to the rules more conveniently. Let's begin by looking at the table of content. The table of content is very intuitive and it links directly to the specific YouTube video on the topic. So for variables tutorial, read the variables section in the manual. And similarly for enums tutorial, refer to the enums section here on the manual, and you get the idea. Let's read through the table of content. So basically, I start with some brief recommendations related to the C language, and I then summarize the code format related to IDE, or any code editor, basically. After that, we start the star rules for variables, constant, structure, enums, if condition and switch case, for loops, macros and x macros, functions, files, copy and code, and finally, commenting. Now let's read through the manual itself. Uh, we're not going to read it fully, obviously, but just to give you an idea about the layout. So as I said, we start by listing some C language notes. Then I listed the code format settings for editor or IDE. And in fact, I go through the code format in details in my course on embedded C style. And I show you how to set up code format in Eclipse step by step, which can then be applied to other IDEs too. The course will be released soon after this video. Check it out if you are interested in knowing more details. Then we begin our rules for each part, starting with variables. The way I structure this is that I start with the rule itself in a very brief and accurate way, uh, like use camel case naming convention at this case. And then I give you further explanation to the rule with these bullet points, which you'll find everywhere, almost with every rule. And then finally, some code example to demonstrate the rule itself and how to use it in, uh, in real life. That's basically how the manual is structured. It is designed to be very easy to use on a day-to-day basis. And if you used it long enough, you'll probably be able to memorize it all in your head. So a link to the manual will be provided in the description below, and we will keep maintaining and updating the manual when necessary. Uh, so keep an eye on our updates uh, as well. And that's all for this video. If you like this content and would like to express your satisfaction, you can click the thumb up button. Cheers.